So, about the dashboard we requested a few weeks ago. Yeah, what about it? I delivered it to you as we agreed. Well, turns out the VP marketing was kind of expecting something else. He wanted to know how much we spend per day per platform, as well as our overall span and where we spend the most. And those charts are still missing. I don't want to be a bottleneck now, but I'm out of capacity at the moment. That project was close for me. We even reviewed it together. I know, but what can we do then? Maybe you could do it yourself? What an interesting situation. The one between the marketing manager and the data analyst, right? One party is pushing for their own needs and the other party is just pushing for more independent work. And we say it's all about collaboration. Hello there and welcome back to a new episode of our Product Deep Dive, where we show you how Y42 can help you work more efficiently with your data. I'm your host, Johannes, Product Growth Manager here at Y42 and I would like us to talk about the conversation we just witnessed. The thing is, the data analyst already prepped the data for the marketing team by gathering all the relevant sources, integrating them into a single tool, then cleaning and modeling the data, and by even building a dashboard already. So why would it be so hard for the marketing manager to take it from there and do the ad hoc changes themselves? Well, it really shouldn't be, and that's where Y42 comes in. If you're new to the product deep dive or to Y42, we are a full stack data platform and can be used by either writing your SQL queries or by making use of the drag and drop functions that we offer. We cover the entire data workflow from integrating your data to modeling and orchestrating it, as well as visualizing and exporting it. And we do this on top of your data warehouse, so the data is always yours and it's always secure. So let's actually have a chat about Y42's visualization layer. Why is it so good for collaboration and why is it so easy to use by non-technical people? Because the data processing has been done beforehand, which really speeds up the process and allows for iterative work. Don't believe me? Well, see for yourself. Welcome to our visualization layer. Let's jump right in and actually add a new visualization. In this case, we will call it add spend. So this is our empty visualization layer and we'll go ahead and add a new widget to this dashboard. Now we have an overview of all the data sources that we have already integrated, as well as tables that have been output from the models that we built within Y42. If you have been following this series, you will know that we've already integrated and modeled the daily ad spend from Facebook and Google for our beloved marketing team. Now let's bring this data to life by creating a bar chart. So we select the model that we have previously created and use this to build our visualization. As you can see, we have a variety of visualizations available within Y42 that are highly customizable to whatever you need. We'll start by building a very simple bar chart and dragging our date column into the segment by section, as well as the spend column into the summarized by section. And you can see our first bar chart pops up. So in order to actually get some meaning from this bar chart, let's change how we segment the data and select year and month. So we get the overview of the different months. So we will filter by date. And I remember the marketing team saying that they were specifically interested in May 2021. Let's also add the platform into breakdown by to really see the split between ad spend on Google and Facebook. We will turn this into a stacked bar chart and we will also segment this by date so that we can see the ad spend of each date in May. We can super easily change the colors of the columns as well so we can turn Facebook into a beautiful meta blue and give Google a lovely yellow color. And we then go ahead and save and close this widget. We now have this widget on our dashboard and we can easily resize it. If we want to build other visualizations, 
in the same dashboard, we can easily add a tab and start again from scratch with an empty dashboard. We can use access control on the dashboard level and assign roles to different users. And we can easily see who actually created this dashboard. Well, all of these features come together to really enable collaboration between different team members. Wow, you saw how quick that was, right? In just a few minutes, we had the chart ready to go. But this is just a very simple visualization. Let me show you a few other visualizations that you can also build in Y42. So let's put our second tab to good use and give the marketing team an overview of the overall ad spend that they've had. We'll do this by adding a new widget, selecting the number box and putting spend over here. And we're looking at the sum of the spend. Okay, so we've spent 79K during the entire time frame that we're looking at here. We'll save and close. Let's also check where we actually spent more money on ads. Was it Facebook or Google? You can easily do this by creating a pie chart. We summarize the spend and break it down by platform. And we can see that we spent most of our money on Facebook actually. So now we see we have these two visualizations here and the other one in tab one. I would actually like to have all of them in the same tab. So we're gonna move this one to tab one and We'll do the same with the number box and also move this to tab one to have all of our widgets here, giving us a great overview of what's been happening um, with our ads. In order to truly enable the marketing manager, let's show them how to share this with the VP marketing. Either they can share this dashboard directly or they just export this as a PDF and then send it over to the VP marketing. And there you have it, a little glimpse into the dashboard building capabilities Y42 has to offer. By using the drag and drop function, creating different visualizations becomes something that both a technical user like the data analyst or a not so technical user like the marketing manager can equally achieve. Implementing tools like this allows you to leave bottlenecks behind and empower everyone in your organization to work with their data independently. So we have a drag and drop builder, we have interactive widgets, and you have user management for all your dashboards. What else does the Y42 visualization cover? Well, you can use calculated fields to calculate new columns on the fly if you need more expressive metrics. You can get access to powerful filters that help you improve your understanding of your data, and you can super easily export any dashboard that you build. This all sounds well and good, but you probably want to know how this could apply to your particular use case. Well, I've got the right solution for you. Book a call with our data experts. They're waiting for you to ping them so that they can explain to you in more detail how Y42 could be the best solution for you. That's it from my side today. Follow us to not miss our next episode in which we'll show you how to coordinate data exports with Y42. Does reverse ETL ring a bell? If not, then stay tuned. Cheers. Cheers.